Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, May 10, 2024. May God be with you today and may His peace be with you as you go throughout the day. Our reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 5, reading from verse 22 to 24. And it says, And Enoch walked with God after he beget Methuselah three hundred years, and beget sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word. And so, when you think about the reading this morning, did he walk by God's side physically? No, God wasn't there physically, but he was walking with God by faith. So it was a spiritual walk. So God wasn't physically there like how oh, you and I are here. You can look at someone in front of you and see them. But he knew that God was there and God was there with him. So when it speak about he also walk with God, it also speaks to the fact that he remained faithful to the word of God and the principle of truth. So we too are to walk with God. We are to what? Remain faithful to the principles of truth. Now, when we do this, when we remain faithful, when we hold the principles of truth in our heart, when we practice the things that are there for us in the Word of God to do, when we live a faithful and obedient Christian life, then we will be enlightened. It will change our experience. And when we meet with each other, you know, we will see the evidence of God's power in our life. And so, good is the Lord and good is the word of the Lord. So it is a good thing for us to walk with God because our experience will be transformed. And as the reading states that Enoch, he walked with God so faithfully that he did not see death. So that is what it means when it says in verse 24 that Enoch walked with God and he was not. So it means that he did not die. He was translated before he died. That must have been quite an experience for him. So what lesson can we take from that? In the same way, if we continue to walk with God and if we continue to be faithful to God, we also will be translated. Maybe not now, but when Jesus comes again, we also will be. And the interesting thing about it too is that he walked with God for how many years? He walked with God for 365 years. Now to us that sound like donkey years, as they would say. So he walked so he walked with God basically all his life for a very long time. And so the same way we must not give up too easy. We must not give up. The road may be rough, it may bruise you sometimes, you may fall down on your face, but get right up again. Get right up again and keep on walking with God. Amen. May God bless you today and may God keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.